I'm starting to lose patience with you people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'll tell you. What do you want to know? Everything. <sighs> How long you got? So screwed. No, we're not. Relax. We'll figure this out. Are you seeing something I'm not? It's just not possible. That's Austin and I. We were both placed in witness protection program after hunting down a murderer, which led us to finding a portal leading to an alternate dimension and saving the world from a radioactive black guy. We asked specifically to be split up, but as you can see, the government doesn't really take requests. What about this? That would never work. We had Chinese yesterday. We had Japanese. It's all the same. Rice and noodles and rice. Racist nutrition aside, they're the only ones who will deliver all the way out here. Not for long if you don't start tipping. Tipping them for what? Ringing a doorbell? See, this is why the economy's in the toilet. What do you know about the economy? I know that it's in the toilet. And if Bush doesn't do anything about it soon, Saddam Hussein's gonna flush it. Looks like someone finally got around to reading his ten-year-old stack of newspapers in his driveway. You laugh, but when 2012 hits in the mines attack, you'll be crying to me for answers. God damn it. It's Oliver. He probably fell asleep on the button again. I got it. Oliver! What the hell's the problem now? That was Oliver. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Imagine Forrest Gump and the Rain Man somehow had a child together and then have him raised by the Kardashians. I found a rock on the belt. Seriously? Yeah, I know. I thought it was pretty weird too, but then Do I- Do you know what we're doing here? Well, to be honest, no, not at all. Really? Shit. I was really hoping you'd tell me. Zach handles all that stuff on his own, and I've had his emails sent directly to Trash ever since he added me that stupid cute kitten newsletter. What's wrong with cute cats? Nothing. But after you've seen enough sexually suggestive felines, it starts to get... weird. Yeah, I like the ones in Little Santa hats. But getting back on track, whatever the hell we're doing here, it involves fucking rocks! So, should I get the drill, or...? Excuse me, I'm looking for a Mr. Austin Campbell. And speaking of tools, in walked Evans, the biggest and douchiest tool in the bag. May I have a word with you and Zach King? Uh... You don't get to say no. Yo, Zach, this dude wants to talk to us. My name is Gregory Evans. I'm a sergeant for the U.S. Army, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Could you hang on just one second? Thanks. Can I talk to you real quick? What the hell do you think you're doing bringing a cop around here? Cop? He said he was with the military. Yeah, you've played GTA. Military guys are just cops with bigger guns. Why does that even matter? Everything we're doing here is illegal. What are you talking about? Are, are we mining for actual crack rocks? What? God, no. Our mining permit expired last month. Well, we might get the electric chair. This is all your fault, man. I emailed you the renewal forms months ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know I'm in the same room. I can hear your entire conversation. It was him, officer. Me? What the hell are you talking about? He's the one responsible for the permits. I have it in writing. Are you fucking kidding me? Relax. I'm not here to arrest you. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no shit. I'm here to recruit you. Recruit us for what? For a mission. A mission that requires your very specific set of skills. I think you have the wrong giant mobile buzzsaw. Happens all the time. You are Zachary King and Austin Campbell, correct? No, 
Not anymore. Anymore? Nope. Witness Protection gave us new names. You're currently looking at Austin Boyardee. And I'm Zach, the artist formerly known as King. Isn't a big part of the program to not reveal your true identity? You sure? I didn't exactly read the terms and conditions, so, you know, let's keep this on the hush-hush. Nevertheless, the two of you are imperative to our mission. What's your mission? It's classified. Of course it is. Then why us? Without any proper training, you two and a band of rejects were able to take down David Stark. Who? He was number seven on the FBI's most wanted list. Yeah, that doesn't ring a bell. You may know him better as his stage name, Mike Hawk. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that isn't his real name? Why the hell would he want to be called that? Well, I, I mean, the signs were all there. What do you mean? The human centipede, happily being railed by a black guy every night in prison... What? Mike was gay? Yeah. That mohawk was so far in the closet, I'm surprised it wasn't gift-wrapped. How the hell do you guys get anything done like this? We don't. That's the point. I don't know why you're even wasting your time here. I'm wasting my time here because you are the only option. The man we are hunting is extremely smart. He has access to our network and has tabs on every ground troop ever registered. We can't send anyone in without him knowing. We need someone from the outside. Meaning us. Correct. Now we've seen what you've done in the Middle East, and while your tactics may be guerrilla, sloppy, and generally ineffective, you are our literal last-ditch effort. Won't be the first time I've heard that. If you come with me right now, you could be heroes. War veterans on pedestals. Or you can be miners. No name stood atop a metal death trap. We'll, we'll take, take the, the death, death trap. trap. What? Yeah. You see, that all sounds really dangerous and hard. Yeah. Plus, then we'd have to go back to carrying guns all day, and that's really a killer on your forearms. I see. You two have two options. A. Come back to HQ and get prepped for battle. Or B. I can take you down to the nearest police station for drilling without a permit. You just had to be a cat person. If you thought that Middle East prison was bad, just wait till I transfer you to Guantanamo. Uh, let me cancel the Chinese. Good. Now while you're doing that, I want you to write me a list of everyone that was involved in Mike's takedown. What for? For their help. And with that cliché line, we set out on our journey to reunite our past friends and foes in an attempt to stay out of prison. Again. <laughs>